for Curry and Dallas with a change here too. Ellis has checked in. These guys know each other well clearly because that was a beautiful pass. Warriors trailed by eight. And Thompson kicks to Azili. Villanueva with the steal. The foul called on Festus Azili. That's his first foul. David Lee checked in for Maurice Spates. Stoudemire with a screen on Thompson. Harris passes to Stoudemire. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top, but instead he'll shoot free throws. And saved a likely dunk there. Yeah, very smart foul under the circumstances. You can't allow him to just throw it down on you. Amari Stoudemire still an efficient scorer attacking the rim. The problems have been at the defensive end of the floor where last season he fouled four times more than he blocked a shot. Not a great ratio. So he's got to continue to work defensively. Smart foul there. Make him earn those two free throws instead of giving up an easy dunk. Yeah, and he's not a strong free throw shooter. I mean, with his percentage, he's likely to miss one. So that's a good heads up play. And the Mavericks making a change here. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Stoudemire. Novitski comes in for Charlie Villanueva. Parsons checked in for Al Farouk Aminu. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Harris. And a wide open look here for Ellis. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Some changes for Golden State. Bogut comes in for Festus Azili. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Andre Iguodala. Warriors trail 5-6. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Andre Iguodala is perhaps the premier wing defender in the league. Dre himself said, I used to always joke with my coaches, I could play defense in my sleep. But it's not just natural ability, he said. There's another me in the league. They have the same things. Long arms, quick feet, and they can defend. They just choose not to do it. Kevin? It comes from within, Doris. Thank you. Lee again. Rondo. Stolen by Thompson. Curry dishes to Thompson. A three. And the rebound goes to Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound in this one. They've clearly been the better team on the glass, but it hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. They're running, and it's blocked by Chandler. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Here's Thompson. He's got six. Outside Curry. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. One twenty-one left in the first half. Harris kicks to Berea. Back to Harris. Launches it. Barnes grabs the miss. Warriors trail by eight. Shots good. 59 seconds left here in the second. In the corner, it's Harris. Good, and it's Perea who picks up the assist. 
Harris has got himself on the board with three there. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Well, Andrew Bogut possesses really great size, above average athleticism, but I really think it's his basketball IQ that sets him apart. He's got outstanding instincts, especially at the defensive end of the floor. And the Warriors making a change here. Holiday's checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Charlie Villanueva. Stoudemire. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. <laughs> a hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot to like on that play. To the left side wing. Aminu with it. Now the feed to Nowitzki. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The Mavericks on top, up 10. Time now for the halftime break, with the third quarter soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. It's been quite a game for Amari Stoudemire. Yeah, he's been a revelation here tonight. Clark scoring almost at will there in the half. Hard to imagine he'll keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. The second half just about to get going here. It's been quite a game for Amari Stoudemire. Seemed like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And see, they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. On the wing, Thompson and Igudala. It's Lee and Bogut inside, and it's Curry in a point guard. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just blanks the open jumper. Everyone knew that the Warriors were going to be a team on the rise after their deep run in 2013. Steve, you saw it firsthand, and they climbed to the ranks of the best in the West in 2014. Well, they didn't end up where many had hoped, which would have been in the top four of the conference, but they were powerful at times and uh, tough to stop. And in the West, you know, they still finished sixth, which shows you the depth of the conference. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, Steve Kerr taking over as head coach of the Warriors, a five-time NBA champion. His focus is on creating sustained success. He said, we've got a chance to be really good for the next decade. Let's just take a swing every year and be consistent with our efforts, and we'll have our chances. And we get to watch them, Kevin. Looking to build something that'll last. Thank you, Doris. Igudala with it. Picked up by Nowitzki. That's short off the rim. You know, and to be fair to the Warriors, sixth in the West is still a pretty significant accomplishment when you consider how many really good teams are out there in the Western Conference. A 50-win season is great, but when it only gets you the sixth seed, that's the problem. And for the Warriors, yes, they finished sixth in the West last year, but they can compete with anyone in the conference with their shooting. In fact, they hit about 40% of their threes against Western Conference teams last year. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Azili's checked in. That one is off. You wonder when you look back at it just how significant a win Dirk had when he was able to get his championship ring. Guys, you can tell how much it meant to Nowitzki to win that 2011 title. Validation and winning again really now his motivation as he continues to play. Well, he said at this age, for him to keep playing at a high level, it takes tremendous dedication year-round. I mean, he needs to feel that they can contend to keep himself going. 
looky here, looky here. How about that one? That play, take that play and put it in the alley oop textbook for future reference. <laughs> Perfectly done. He put it on a platter uh, for him. He Gosh, sure that did. Was neat. And how about the touch on the finish, too? That was really nicely done. Warriors trailed by 11. Curry passes to Azili. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Boy, that's embarrassing, guys. He's going to have a hard time living that one down later when they watch it on tape. Dallas has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Rondo with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Hit his leg. And it's whistled a kick. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Nowitzki. That's good. Nowitzki's got 10 points. Boy, you can't run an inbounds play any better than that right there. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Mavericks leading by 13. Outside Rondo. Passes it to Nowitzki. Nowitzki draws the double. Pushing it up. Up the floor. Pull up jumper. Here's Azili. Thompson for the triple. No luck. And it's Dallas the other way. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Well, despite his 6'3 height, Monte Ellis is at his best operating from the mid-range in. He's a superb athlete. He slice into the defense and finishes with an outstanding touch around the rim. Rondo again. It's Curry. Here's Rondo. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts one up from 19. Can't get it to go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Thompson misses. Mavericks leading by 14. From 10 feet out. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. Here's Curry with the three. Thompson dishes to Bogut. Golden State moving the ball around. Offensive rebound. It's stolen by Rondo. And now Ellis running the floor all by himself. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end. Steals, fast break buckets. And the other team scrambling to find its game. Yeah, they've done a great job causing havoc and then taking advantage in uh, in transition offensively. And there's the call on Chan. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Different look here for the Warriors. 11 left in the third quarter. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. And the Mavericks call time here. Well, Clay Thompson, the son of former number one draft pick Michael Thompson, but totally different games. His father was a big man. He kind of played inside. Clay, a swingman, just a knockdown shooter from deep. Different look for Dallas. One oh three left to play here in the third. And 
Clay's father, Michael, often his toughest critic. He tells Clay, post those smaller <laughs> guards up, and